Fasten your seat belt. Fasten your seat belt. Helmet. Helmet. Handlebars. Handlebars. Pavement. Pavement. Zebra crossing. Zebra crossing. Stick your hand out of the window. Stick your hand out of the window. Fasten your seat belt. Helmet. Handlebars. Pavement. Zebra crossing. Stick your hand out of the window. We're in the car with the Joe and Jules. Let's be safe and follow the rules. Fasten your seatbelt. Be careful, Joe. Don't stick your head out of the window. We're on our bikes with Joe and Jules. Let's be safe and follow the rules. Keep both hands on the handlebars. Wear a helmet, watch out for cars We're in the street with Joe and Jules Let's be safe and follow the rules Don't play in the street, walk on the pavement Look both ways, then cross at the crossing One. Look at the pictures and write tick for right or X for wrong. Then listen and sing. Street safety. We're in the car with the Joe and Jules. Let's be safe and follow the rules. Fasten your seatbelt. Be careful, Joe. Don't stick your head out of the window. We're on our bikes with Joe and Jules. Let's be safe and follow the rules. Keep both hands on the handlebars. Wear a helmet, watch out for cars We're in the street with Joe and Jules Let's be safe and follow the rules Don't play in the street, walk on the pavement Look both ways, then cross at the crossing Three, draw and say. Always fasten your seat belt. Sixty minutes. Five minutes. Ten minutes. Fifteen minutes. Twenty minutes. Twenty five minutes. Thirty minutes. Thirty five minutes. Forty minutes. Forty five minutes. Fifty minutes. Fifty five minutes. Leave. Arrive. Sixty minutes. 
Five minutes. Ten minutes. Fifteen minutes. Twenty minutes. Twenty five minutes. Thirty minutes. Thirty five minutes. Forty minutes. Forty five minutes. Fifty minutes. Fifty five minutes. Leave. Arrive. One. Where are the children going to go tomorrow? Listen and read. Good morning, class. Tomorrow we're going to go on a school trip. Where, Mrs. Rummer? We're going to visit the zoo. Wow! How are we going to get there? By bus. How long does it take by bus? It takes about forty minutes, Greg. Yeah. What time does the bus leave? The bus leaves at ten ten in the morning. So we're going to arrive at the zoo at ten fifty, right, Mrs. Rama? Yes, Greg. Is that all? Yes. Thank you, Mrs. Rama. What time did you say it's going to be? At half past three. No, it's going to be at half past five. It takes fifteen minutes by bus. You take bus B eight from Barry Station. It leaves at five fifteen. Five. Imagine you're going on a trip. Fill in the table about your trip. Then ask your friend and fill in the table about his or her trip. Where are you going to go? I'm going to go to the park. How are you going to get there? By bike. What time are you going to leave? At five to ten. Wheel. Motorbike, taxi, comfortable, exciting, tourist, slow, wheel, wheel, motorbike, motorbike, taxi, taxi. Comfortable.
comfortable, exciting, exciting, tourist, tourist, slow, slow. One. How many different means of transport do you know of? Listen and read. Then match. Social studies. Different means of transport. One. A tuk-tuk looks like a motorbike with three wheels. The driver sits in the front. And two to three people can sit in the back. Many tourists take tuk-tuks in Thailand. They can be faster than taxis. Riding in tuk-tuks is fun and exciting too. Two. Gondolas are long boats. In the past, people used them in Venice, Italy, to get from one place to another. Gondolas are very slow. Riding in a gondola isn't very comfortable, but tourists love it. Three. People ride snowmobiles on snow. Snowmobiles haven't got wheels; they have got skis. They can go very fast. Snowmobile drivers have to wear a helmet and very warm clothes. It can get very cold on a snowmobile. Three. Listen and number one to four. One. Traveling by is really fast. It's a lot of fun too. I traveled to France last month. I sat next to the window. It was really cool to be up in the sky. I felt like a bird. Everything below looked so small. Two. I don't like traveling by. Last summer we went on holiday to an island. The weather was really bad and it was very windy. It was really scary. My mum said it was okay, but I don't like the water and I don't know how to swim. Three. I like traveling by. It's really comfortable and fast. You see houses, people. And animals on the way. Once we went through the mountain, and suddenly everything went black. That was scary. Four. Traveling by is really good in the city. It is faster than a car, and it's easy to get from one place to another. You have to wear a helmet and watch out for cars. Four. Make true sentences. Traveling by gondola is slow.
Ticket. Ticket. Ring it. Ring it. Sen. Sen. Cheap. Cheap. Expensive. Expensive. Ticket. Ticket. Ring it. Ring it. Sen. Sen. Cheap. Cheap. Expensive. Expensive. One. Listen and read. Then act it out. Change the words in red. Hello. Hello. Can I help you? I'd like a ticket for Cyberjaya, please. What time does the bus leave? The bus for Cyberjaya leaves in ten minutes. Is the ticket expensive? No, it isn't. It's six ringgit and fifty sen. Wow, that's cheap. Okay, one ticket, please. Here you go. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Module six, story time, the lost boy, part one. One. What do Kelly and Amin do at the weekend? Listen and read. It's the weekend. Amin is at home, and he's getting ready to go to the park with his friend Kelly. Are you ready, Amin? Asks Kelly. Yes, I am. Says Amin. How are we going to get to the park? We're going to go by bike, says Kelly. Amin and Kelly are in the garden now. Kelly is wearing her helmet, but Amin hasn't got a helmet. Amin, where's your helmet? Kelly asks. Amin's mum comes out and gives him his helmet. Here's your helmet, dear," says his mum. "Make sure to keep both hands on the handlebars and watch out for cars, children." Okay, mum. Thanks," says Amin. "Let's go, Kelly." The children are riding their bikes to the park now. How long does it take to get there, Kelly? Asks Amin. I'm tired. We're going to be there in five minutes, says Kelly. There it is. Do you see it? Kelly asks. Kelly and Amin play with their friends all afternoon. It's getting dark now. 
The children are leaving the park when they see something. Hey, I mean, what's that? Asks Kelly. I don't know. Says I mean. Painter. Jungle. Python. Worried. Shout. Panther. Jungle. Python. Worried. Shout. One. Below is an extract from the Jungle Book. Look at the picture and guess what happens. Listen, read, and check your answers. Mowgli. Mowgli lives in the jungle with Mother Wolf and Father Wolf. Baloo the bear and Bagheera the panther are his friends. Mowgli is very happy in the jungle. One day, Mowgli and his two friends are talking. I made some friends yesterday, the monkey people, says Mowgli. I look like them, but I haven't got a tail. They say I have to be their leader. Baloo is shouting. What? The monkey people don't care about anyone. Bagheera is very angry too. Don't talk to them again, he shouts. OK says Mowgli. At night, when they are sleeping, the monkeys come for their leader. The monkeys take Mowgli and jump from tree to tree. Help! The monkeys are scary! Ah! says Mowgli. Suddenly, Mowgli sees Chill the bird. Chill! Tell Baloo and Bagheera I need help. Chill the bird? finds Baloo and Bagheera. The bear and the panther are very worried. We're going to find Mowgli, says Baloo. But we need help. Let's find Ka the python. He can help us, says Bagheera. Revision 6. 2. Listen and complete Joe's notebook. Good morning, children. Tomorrow we're going on a school trip. Where, Where Miss Anita? Anita? We're going to visit the lake gardens. How are we going to get there, Miss Anita? By bus. Yeah! yeah. How long does it take by bus? It takes about 40 minutes, Joe. What time does the bus leave? The bus leaves at 9 in the morning, OK, Joe? We leave at 9. The trip takes about 40 minutes. So we arrive at Lake Gardens at 9.40. That's right, Joe. Now, we don't have to worry about buying tickets for the gardens because it is free. But we're going to visit the bird park 
and the ticket costs 38 ringgit. 38 ringgit? That's not expensive. No, it isn't. It is amazing there, and I know you are all going to really like it. We're going to visit the lake gardens. How are we going to get there, Miss Anita? By bus. It takes about 40 minutes. The bus leaves at 9 in the morning. The trip takes about 40 minutes, so we arrive at Lake Gardens at 9.40. The ticket costs 38 ringgit. Phonics 6. Activity 1. Listen and say. O W. O. O. Slow. Pillow. O W. Ow. Ow. Cow Down In the town of Small Bay It's a sunny day. A cow is near the tree. What does it see? In the town of Small Bay, two boys are playing. They're throwing pillows out of the windows. Every day they play, play, play in the town of Small Bay. Activity 2 Listen and chant. Then Circle the O sounds and underline the OW sounds. In the town of Small Bay. In the town of Small Bay. It's a sunny day. A cow is near the tree. What does it see? In the town of Small Bay Two boys are playing They're throwing pillows out of the windows Every day they play, play, play in the town of Small Bay. Architect. Architect. Design. Design.
show, show, balcony, balcony, mask, mask, roof, roof, famous, famous, architect, architect, design, design, show, show, balcony, balcony, mask, mask, roof, roof, famous, famous, Activity 1. Listen and read. Then match the pictures to the texts. Famous buildings around the world. A. The Sydney Opera House in Sydney, Australia is a very famous building. Jorn Utzon, a Danish architect, designed it. They started building it in 1957 and they finished it in 1973. The building looks like a sailboat. There are 1,000 rooms in the Sydney Opera House. You can visit it to watch a show or to eat in one of its restaurants. B. In 1904, Anthony Gaudí designed a building in Barcelona, Spain. Its name is Casa Batlo because the Batlo family lived there. Today, people can visit this amazing building. Casa Batlo is very strange. The balconies look like masks. Look at the walls. They are not straight. What about the roof? Does it look like a hat or a dinosaur? What do you think? Take a look for Episode 6 Getting Around Vocabulary Look, listen and repeat Handlebars Zebra Crossing Pavement Seatbelt Stick your hand out of the window Follow the rules Street safety Taxi Leave Watch out Let's chat. Hi, Scott. Hi, Jack. 
How are you? Fine. Let's go to the park. Tom and Matt are there. They're having a picnic. Great. I'm going to make some sandwiches, and then we can go. Good idea. But how are we going to get there? The park isn't very far from here. We can go on foot. How long does it take? It takes about thirty minutes to get there on foot. Hmm. Then maybe we can go by bus. What time does the bus leave? It leaves at ten fifteen. What's the time now? Oh no, it's ten twenty-five. Too late. The next bus is in thirty minutes. Well, we can go by taxi. But I've got no money. Have you got any, perhaps? No, I haven't. What are we going to do? Hello, kids. Oh, why are you sad? It's a beautiful day today. Dad, can you drive us to the park, please? Of course. Oh, thank you, Dad. Thanks, Mr. Jones. Street safety. On the street, we have to follow the rules. Safety comes first. This family is in a car. Look at them. They are wearing seat belts. Never stick your hand out of the window. Look at this boy. He's riding a bike, and he's wearing a helmet. Always wear a helmet and keep your hands on the handlebars. Always watch out for cars, and never ride your bike too fast. What about safety on foot? Always walk. Don't run on the pavement. And never play in the street. Always cross the street at a zebra crossing, and remember to look left and right. Keep safe.